Hey, it's David Pingree out here at Kawea Creek Raceway today, getting our chance on the new 2019 Suzuki RMZ 250. And lots of changes for this bike this year. Obviously a completely updated chassis, all the new plastics, similar to what the 450 went through last year. And this bike needed it. Um, it was long in the tooth. And um, we're gonna anxious to see how those changes uh, sorted themselves out on the track today. But all new KYB suspension, New engine, they say completely new engine. I think most of those changes were basically inside the head, uh, cam, valves, different things like that, but all new spec and uh, reportedly much better. So I'm anxious to try that out. Um, and you know, it has the updated look, which is great. So, I mean, really you, you've probably heard by this point, all of the new changes. You can go to suzuki.com to get the real list of exact specifications, everything that's been changed. But basically like a lot of these manufacturers do, They'll move, make a change on the 450, and then a year or two later, they get the updates on the smaller bike. So, uh, unfortunately, on this guy, still has a kickstart. A uh, bit of a swing and a miss by Suzuki, I believe. They're the last holdouts with the kickstart, and we're all spoiled now. End of the day, we don't want to kick these things anymore. So, uh, we've gone soft, and uh, that's okay. I guess they just need to keep up with the times. But I've always loved the Suzuki, the feel of them. Uh, we did a project on our 450 already, Suzuki, and love it. Uh, We've actually got that thing working amazing. So I'm anxious to see the where we're at baseline on this thing. So let's get it on the track and we'll get you some feedback. Well, it was a good first ride on our Suzuki out here today. The track was really rough and beat up, kind of end of the day. And um, the first thing I noticed, and I kind of had a heads up going into this, I was told by Suzuki it might be oversprung, uh, which means it's definitely oversprung. So I was right away, it felt like supercross suspension or, or it was set up for Tyler Bowers, uh, very, very stiff. So I had to do a bunch of clicker changes. We'll get into that in our dialed in video, but just my initial impression way oversprung um, but so that was a downside still corners great like that traditional Suzuki feel um, as long as there wasn't too many bumps you can knife this thing rail turns it's, it's just really comfortable in corners comfortable to jump it's got that it's just got a really comfortable feeling that I, I I've always liked about the Suzuki where um, it'll just go it'll, it'll do whatever you want it to do very easily um, a little bit of a, a, a faded brake feeling initially, like maybe there was some grease or something on my rotor. I got that to wear off, just drug it for a lap or two, and then brakes were fine after that, no issues. Um, in fact, good brakes. Um, the engine, much, much better than the previous model. Uh, picks up really well. The old model actually had a decent little punch between the bottom and mid, and then would just hit a wall. And um, this one doesn't do that. This one actually, you can feel it keep climbing. Uh, better power up through that the the meat of the middle and then a much further over rev which I, I really liked I actually enjoy riding this bike um, nice nice pull out of turns and uh, and a good nice broad range so uh, kudos to Suzuki I don't I don't know how I back to back with the other bikes um, I can tell you right right away it's better than some but maybe not quite as good as others so but it puts it in the you know the competitive part of the pack again so that's really good I think this suspension you can get working well it's not that it's bad suspension i think they just missed the mark on the the spring rates bottom line so it needs to drop it unless you weigh i would say 190 plus then this is probably good for you but if you're 190 pounds you're probably not riding a 2 df i mean let's just be honest so uh just something to consider if you are 165 to 180 or, or less than that one, one 180 or less you're gonna want softer springs is my guess um what else? Everything else about it's really comfortable. Like I said, the 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 chassis itself, 
I think is really good. It's just, uh, it's time, kind of tough to tell until we can get into that suspension and make some changes and get it right. But like I said, the cornering is great. The way that the bike moves and, uh, and, and takes input is great. Um, no other complaints, you know. We did try the, the couplers. I, I like the leaner one today. I would just always tell you if you're gonna do an exhaust or do any modifications, probably go to that richer coupler or better yet, have somebody uh, do some mapping for you throw in a programmable ignition and, and do that. That is a really uh, effective change that you can make and relatively inexpensive in comparison to some other things. Um, and it will make a huge difference in performance. So uh, that's kind of getting into, a, into another part of it though. My initial impression, I love the way the bike looks. Uh, I think that they've done a, a great change to the engine. It's competitive again. Now we have a bike that uh, isn't way behind in horsepower compared to all the others. I hate that it's a kickstart. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I may have said some four letter words a couple of times when I stopped and had to get going again. But on the track, it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna shoot our dialed in video here soon. Look for that. We will go over tips and tricks to get this stuff to work well, or as well as it can work. And then also maybe some suggestions moving forward. So keep an eye out for that. Um, thanks for watching. This is our 2019 RMZ 250. Looking forward to spending some more time on it. We'll see you on the next one.